Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Marathon. Picking up exactly where we left off. Um. Huh. So, airlock, huh? I just took a small break to take out the trash, and it is blisteringly cold outside. Um, I'm recording this a couple of weeks in advance, not too, too far in advance. And oh boy, it is, uh, it's bitter outside. I will tell you that for free. Of course, some of it is my fault because I am wearing shorts and a t-shirt to go outside. That's on me, you know? I'm not going to say that, like, it's not my fault for wearing that outside, but boy, it's cold. Cha. This thing is very reminiscent of like the classic plasma pistol. Like you have the unimpressive main fire and then the charge alt fire. It looks like a television remote or maybe like a, a flight stick. Nanika? Hmm. So if I can get to the if I can get to there actually, I'm probably gonna be able to run and jump into the satellite relay. Which is probably what it wants me to do. So let's see if I can't cycle the airlock. Jesus, man, don't scare me like that. Destroy this one? Yeah, there we go. Oh shit, oh god, oh shit, oh god. Okay. Oh man. Like, it's the same thing in Doom, because in Doom, it's not really that they... Huh. It's not that they're perfectly invisible. That's not the problem, you know? That's never the problem. The problem is that they just have just enough, like, invisibility effect on them that you can't tell exactly where they are. That's the issue. So putting the safe stations out of the way there, I've noticed that they actually, oh, thank goodness. They actually have uh, ended up, I've never had a bad save in this game. If I save, if I have a bad save, it's because I saved with low health, but that's basically it. Okay. Okay. Oh. Oh boy. Can I? Okay, no. In Doom, your character can actually run so fast that it's possible for them to outrun their own rocket. Okay. This is a cool level overall. What is this? G4 Sun thing. Okay. Oh, so it looks like I can, if you get out of the way of the one projectile. Oh, I'm at full health. Now, what's this thing? That looks like something I want. Man, the fact that they can climb is kind of wild. <laughs> See, it looks like they, uh, the homing projectiles the thing with them is that they track exactly to where you are so if you put yourself in if you put something in between you and the projectile oh wow that's 
kind of eerie the way that they can just ascend. I'm trying to like lead the target and catch him. Hunter. Okay. Go, go, go. Really still, dude? Two hunter. They're still following me, that fucking projectile. Huh? Okay. I heard it hit something. Oh gosh. See, I can do this forever. I have a couple hundred shots. And the thing is, it's not hit scan, which means that I can shoot a little... Or no, it is hit scan. It's not projectile. Which means that I can shoot a little easier here. Although... The hit sound for... Oh, boy. Nice. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. So killing him doesn't even stop the projectiles from coming. Oh, come on. Huh? Okay. Nice and easy. Uh, I'm good on health, but I am getting a little low on my oxygen. Here we go. This is probably something, right? Oh god, I'm so confused by this huge, huge area. <laughs> I'm legitimately just so lost. I haven't actually run into a thing where I start asphyxiating uh, yet, at least. Oh. This is new. <laughs> oh. I thought he couldn't open the door. Boy, was I wrong. Alright, let's see where this takes me then, huh? Should probably get a bigger gun out. The corridors mean that people don't really have a lot of recourse to escape the projectile. Damn it, I need oxygen, please. Yep, I, I can tell. Oh, boy. Dead Sea? Oh, God. That's really causing me some stress there, huh? I'm going in circles. I need to stop doing that. Here? Oh boy. Oh, you just die immediately. Cool. Cool. That's great. Cut. Alright, and we're back. So, uh... Yeah, I activated one of the switches. Uh, I think so, at least. And, uh, I found a second pistol at some point, so now I can jewel wield. Oh boy. So I guess that's why they give you so much pistol ammo. Because, you know, when you're chewing through it at double the rate, that makes a lot of sense. Perfect. This is just what I needed to.
All right, now we're all full up. Cool. And again, you can almost see like the the Halo precursor here of like this is this is dual wielding in a first person shooter. Oh boy. Oh, 100. The way that the uh, the bullets sound when they hit him is so, it's so chunky, you know? Like they plink. So yeah, not only does this double my firing speed, and I guess also my reload speed, that part isn't so fantastic. Okay, now I need to figure out where the hell I'm going. I saw an explanation on the walkthrough I'm using that described like three rings, and I, uh, that's above my pay grade. Oh boy. Next. Okay. Well, you know what? Let's just. Oh boy. You? Okay. I'm in the bottom right. Can't do that yet. So I've got to go up this way, right? I think I'm doing this right. The wall I'm here. It's top off. Really no reason not to. A little extra safety save. Just so I don't have to do that again. Up this way. Okay, so the airlock door is blocking me here, which means that I have to... Oh boy, oh boy. Let's switch over. So I think you can also shoot the uh, rocket projectiles out of the air. the same kind of gun I have. Yeah, just, just finish me. Finish me, you powerful warrior. Okay. So maybe jumping down there wasn't what I was supposed to do. Maybe this is. Okay, so this is the starting line. This is where the level starts. And I need to get into here. Come on, there you go. Wish I could reload a little earlier because I just have to go into fights with these guns unloaded or I have to waste all my ammo. And god, they're hit scanners, so I can't, like, outrun the bullet. Yep, I just totally shut that rocket down. So, left click still fires the right gun. And right click fires the left gun, so that's annoying. This one? And then I go up. Oh, what? Okay. Oh, so it gets put away. I see. So let's see if I can't get to that thing that I need to push. 
which is this way. Maybe. Damn it. And I think I need... You just scared the shit out of me, dog. I think I need to do them in order. Still is unloaded. That's so annoying. I think I need to do them in order, but I'm not sure. And I'm not sure how to find out either. Death Valley. Because I found some switches and I hit them and nothing happened. Okay, so now I'm in Dead Sea. Really cheerful names here, guys. Could you lighten up a little, kids? Why would the boat be built like this? I've got to stop calling spaceships boats. That was definitely some friendly fire right there. Okay. Now what does this get me? Is this where I wanted? Is this what I needed to do to go to be? Fucking. Kind of getting a little frustrated here. Why would it work in such a way where it must be activated in a specific order? Are there actual fail-safes that work like that in the real world? Because those must be infuriating for people. Like, that has to violate OSHA. The good news is, is that now that I know how to get around this area a little easier, I am able to save. And, like, so I usually always have full health. And I've cleared out more of the enemies, and I don't know if enemies respawn. I don't think that they would. Oh. Is that it? Is that what I needed? Oh man, this is infuriating. Oh, brother. It's a good game still. Apparently, this is also the only level like this. Okay, so that's the one that I think I already hit. And that's the top right. So I've got to go to the top left. Which I've tried to do before. Okay. Is this the way? Is it? Fucking. Why would it work like that? <sighs> Why would it work this way? Why would they build it like this? Okay, so can I go this way? Because the other ones, they had a little thing where you could go in. God, I'm so lost. I've clearly already been through here because of all the corpse. Nice. It's good. Okay. So there's the one switch that I turned up there. Is that a switch that I... Fuck, man. I'm so goddamn lost. Ah, uh, brother. Ugh. 
like people talk shit about how modern games are all so handholdy and stuff but like i'm neurodivergent man my brain doesn't work like human people's does sometimes i need the handholding you know Like, people be like, man, modern games are so easy. They'll hold the player hand and they don't let you do nothing. They do you be. And like, man, sometimes I need that. I'm dumb. I'm dumb as a bag of hammers. Okay, so this is the one that does nothing. Because it's the same fucking one. God damn it. Like, would it kill him to paint the hallways different colors? Wait, this... This is new. Oh my god. Was I going about it backwards? So this one's still shut. The way is shut. Or I going this way? Which is up. Like, maybe if they painted them a little differently, it might be a little more clear. Oh, man. Um, so I was told that I had to do the top right first, I think. Fuck. Still no dice. Or the top left first. And, like, now I don't know that I do. Okay. So... I like the animation is just him pulling up a second gun. Well, that one really sent me. Oh, hiccups, excuse me. Hmm. Okay, this way? These are aliens I've already killed, so I've been in here. Big fucking airlock. Okay, here we go. If the button at the end of this works, then I'm I'm good. I'm in the clear. Episode four has been a little little dry. Come on, show me a button up here. Well, there's an enemy. It does nothing because I'm here still. Okay, one moment. I'm going to check the walkthrough again. Hey, so uh, I've been uh, stuck on the same part for a week, and on a whim, I uh, decided to uh, take a running leap and see if I could make it. Uh, turns out I can. Shouldn't have doubted myself. So, um... Yeah, I probably could have and even should have recorded that. But you know what? Let's see if I can do it backwards. God damn. Shout out to the... Hmm? Did you do it? I did, yes. My wife's in the room with me. She's playing with the cats. Uh, so I punched a few wizards to death with my bare hands because I wanted to do something with my hands while running around doing nothing. Um, but I also didn't want to waste ammunition, so I just started punching things. And then when the time came to kill things, I didn't have any weapons up. So I... There we go. So we just started punching them. And wow, it's a fantastic way to save ammunition. I'm stunned at how... Alright, you've done well. I've sent a message to Earth. I've sent all the information we have on the four. The behavior, the technology. The message will arrive in 92 years. Well, in light years, that's a... Does that mean we're 92 light years away? Or is there time dilation and shit happening? Uh, there's been a swift attack on the engineering section. The four that brought in heavier troops and the security details on that section have been overrun. The lull in the battle must have been an effort at reorganization. We must defeat the four by subterfuge of some sort, and I'm afraid we are doomed if we continue to meet them in battle. 
Their resources appear limitless, and I have reason to believe there are other four ships in nearby systems. So you need engineering to rescue the security detachment. You'll have to clear the area of <laughs> aliens. Is that we're ready? Oh, wow. What is this track? One moment, everyone. All right, sorry, I just wanted to make sure on the uh, recording. Um, I've only been recording for not too, too long, so yeah, I can keep going. Uh, from Durandal, sorry to give you the bad news, but you've been kidnapped. You aren't where Leela wanted you to go, and you surely won't get there anytime soon. I was watching what Leela was having you do. Save the ship, save humanity. And just who or what are you saving them from, and to what end? How cliched. You'll find this little visit much more exciting. I have dug out to play. If you win, you go free, and we continue our relationship on friendlier terms. If you lose, you die. Good luck in our little game. Unlike Leela, I give no hints. Do it on your own, or die trying. Insanely yours, Durandal. I like Durandal. I'll tell you that. He's got a good hustle, you know? You know where you're getting at with him. This track is very interesting. It's good. I'm saying it's not. Okay. Blaspheme Quarantine is the name of this level. That is a fantastic name for a level. Oh god. It's so brutal when they get mulched like that. And I'm full again. Well, let me go back and save. Which is this way. This is a weird uh, construction. It's like a uh... stairs. It's like a weird little triangle. And we're going up into something. My stomach's grumbling and my wife's laughing at me. Regular day in the household. Try me, motherfuckers. Oh, there's men standing next to me. Holy Jesus. Well, that was to be expected. Would you like to hear everything I just said again? No, Durandal. That won't be necessary. Again, track is hot. So let's see here. We got this door, we got this door. Oh, it's the homing one. That one's nasty. The fact that there are stairs out of here, though, means that I will be able to... Uh... Interesting. So I should go back to Q4. The fact that there's stairs out means that I will be able to go back. Oh! That guy got pumped. Poor fucking alien. And for your episodic reminder... I love infighting, and Doom is awesome. Bro. For real. Bro. There you- Jesus. I realize I could have been a little bit more, uh... Could have been a little bit more... Dodge hungry. That was a total whiff. Oh boy, here we go. Goddamn moon wizards.
The fact that it's the stock punch beef sound is just so fucking hilarious to me. There we go, perfect. The fact you have to stop shooting to reload a gun is kind of annoying. Like, am I using these the wrong way? Is there like a bug that I can do to make sure that I, uh... Here we go. Ah, I see. Yes. Oh, now we're back here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. Jesus, that kind of scared me. Where is he? Just to be sure. I got like a rose lantern in my teeth or something. See, oftentimes I see uh, streamers do something dumb on stream or um, players of any game, really. Like they do something gross or icky on stream and they're like, blah, professional. And like, normally I would write it off as being like me being hashtag professional, but like, I don't know if I've even been a games been long enough to justify doing that shit on camera. Like, let's be frank here. I have smacked my lips a lot. Oh, my cat's being feral. Oh, my wife brought me something. Oh, dear. What is that, Coco? Ooh, it is. Thank you. ASMR slurping into your ears. <laughs> Sarah, dear. If you would like, I can finish this recording sesh and we can record the game we're playing together yes! because I cannot say it on camera right now. Yes! Very well, then we will play it. There's the elevator. Every time I say L, I, I, okay, so, as I'm sure has been well documented at this point. Let me get a little running start here. <sighs> Man, shout out to the security officer. His vert, he doesn't really have a vertical, like, he doesn't jump. He just continues in wherever he's going, you know? That's commendable. What a man. Oh, is there infighting back there? Hmm. Probably not good. Oh, hey. Well, if it ain't just Christmas. Um. I wonder what triggers that to open. Oh, that does apparently. Oh, you can do a little secret pocket full of posies technique on them. But yeah, I've seen people, I've seen a lot of those, uh, there's an image I've seen uh, around uh, at some frequency. It's Virgin Doom Guy and Chad Security Officer. Since, as I've mentioned, that's the only name we get for this character. And, like, I don't think anyone is a Chad compared to Doom Guy. I think Doom Guy is pretty much the tippy top of that. Like, come on, it's Doom Guy we're talking about here. However, I will not deny that the security officer is a bona fide badass. I definitely had a tangent that I was on earlier, and I can't. That didn't look right. I had a tangent that I was on earlier, related, and I cannot think of it for the life of me. Okay. That was a teleport that did not end the level. What do you got for me, D? 
Greetings, you're asking yourself, is this a trap or a dead end? You shouldn't ask yourself such worthless questions. Aim higher. Try this. Why am I here? Why do I exist? And what is my purpose in the universe? Because you are, because you do, because I got a shotgun and you ain't got one. Notably unstable Durandal. And things around here aren't working, it's because I'm laughing so hard. Alright, I'm beginning to see why people like Durandal. Hmm. Oh boy. Excuse me, sir. Pardon. Sorry to have offended you. At least it's not the homing wizards. Speak of the goddamn devil. Well, that was stupid. I think there's a rule in the military about using uh, extremely, extremely dangerous weapons at extremely, extremely close range. But it's called like the Jimmy rule or something. You know, like... Ugh. Okay, maybe if I wait here, I'll be brought back up. Like, in awe of that fucking dumbass Jimmy. Who shot himself with a grenade at such close range that his organs all left his body. Uh-huh. I feel like I'm being trolled here by these. Get ready for some ASMR, everyone. Ugh. Ugh. My wife asked me if I had chocolate. It's good. Yes, it's good, sweetie. All right. Let me find the, the health sucker. Here we go. See, now that would have been a good time to take some sip. Okay, thanks, Durandal. Durandal's kind of a cunt, I'll be honest. Hmm. This is a problem. Well, it could be a problem. Let's see if I can figure out what the game wants me to do here. I'm looking at a puzzle. I'm definitely that's what I'm that's what I'm doing, you know. Is it just time thing? Okay. So that does that one. Okay, let's see if I can make it. Come on! Ah, oh, boy. Oh, maybe I can. Alright, God isn't real. Alright, I think I can see what the game wants out of me here. I'm fairly certain that they want me to do a puzzle in which I, the player character, I'm working out in my head, can you hear? Like can you hear the, uh, the, the shrill sound of my brain exploding out of my ear canal? They want me to do a puzzle. Who are? Wow, I thought I was going to have to cut there. Assassination. All right, he got some hits in. Boop. Might be able to hear my cat crying. It's because he's an ugly boy and he wants food. Hello, everyone. Don't coddle him. He'll just want more food. My wife's, uh, smashing the cat into my mic. Oh, God. Oh, God, he's hooked onto me. <laughs> oh, my organs and blood. I need those. Are there any organs in your arm? Besides your skin and lymphatic system? Sarah says no. What about that secret organ that they discovered last year? Uh... <laughs> 
<laughs> I don't know if anyone else heard that. I might be, I might have to sub that. I'll just. She said, and you warn everyone. <laughs> like, oh yeah, the secret organ that only I have. <laughs> like you, know, you know, when your mom finds out that your grandma's coming over for dinner, and she's like, oh fuck, get out of another place setting. Like the Egyptians see me, and they're like, oh fuck, get out of another canopic jar. Gonna have to find a fifth animal to put his arm organ in. It's the secret organ that makes my arm so beefy. Don't moan like that in the background of my videos. You're gonna create weird feedback. <laughs> oh god, this recording. <laughs> this episode's been one of the weirder ones. Like, it's never good for me to take a break on an LP, even if it's like, even if it's like a long LP. Like, I've already taken a break on New Vegas, and I came back from that break, and I tried to like remember what I was doing, and I'm so fucking lost. And then uh, I also, uh, I'm doing that with, what else is even fucking coming out right now? Dragon's Dogma. Um, I'm pretty sure that's coming out. I did that with Dragon's Dogma, and... Like, I already feel bad. Like, I'm like, oh god, I'm gonna I'm gonna lose my place. I'm gonna forget what I'm doing or where I am. And like, bro, I took a fucking week and a half long break in the middle of an LP. So is this supposed to be a thing where like you hit the door and then you wait for it to go down while everyone's like shooting at you and you're in this little T cross section? Cause well, I didn't do that. This track is fascinating. Don't know if it's good, but I like it. You know, something being good doesn't have something doesn't have to be good for you to like it. Well, that looks like the room that I came from earlier, so that's probably not the way to go. And there's not a ledge to jump on either, so let's fall. Okay. Well, we're here. Hmm. Oh. I hit use on this and it... Oh, you're kidding me. Oh my god. If what's happening is what I think is happening... I'll be honest. Uh, I was really gushing about this game at the start. It is kind of rough, though, I will say. Technologically, it is improved over Doom by a little bit, and it's cool to see the first appearance of that, like, classic underslung grenade launcher uh, assault rifle combination. But, uh, whew. This game has some rough parts. Hello? Also, man, but this gun really reminds me of... Is that where I'm going? Oh. This gun really, really reminds me of Chex Quests. Uh, like, Zorcher or whatever it was called. I've definitely brought this... Uh, I don't know if definitely is uh, good enough for this. I don't know that it's a definite thing is all... Um, I probably brought this up on the channel before, but, uh, yeah, there's this Doom clone called Chex Quest. It was made by, uh, the company that makes chess. Nope. Chex. Oh my god, I went in a circle. I went in a long circle. Oh, god. That was foolhardy. Not to mention embarrassing. Anyway, the company that makes chess, um, they made a clone of Doom. Well, really, they made a wad for Doom, which is um, essentially a game mod. Uh, and it is the variety of mod known as a full conversion mod, which means that they replaced every single asset with something that they made. Huh? God. 
<laughs> I'm getting lost in here. Getting loopy, getting loopy. Uh, so yeah, every weapon in Doom is replaced with something that looks like a 80s cartoon drawing of a remote controller for like a telly, a television. Um, and they all fire like green beams and you fight enemies that are like made of snot. They're trying to steal the checks from Earth. Uh, the lore is not particularly deep. Oh, there's two wizards. God, this thing's a problem solver, though. Finally been able to determine your whereabouts. Normally I would have been able to detect Durando's interference and encounter it, but this fit attacks on my defensive left have been largely successful. I'm in great danger of failure within the next few hours. You will transport area to overrun the security to rescue security detachment. Hopefully they have not been killed yet. Situation is deteriorated. You must act quickly quickly. Durandal has wasted five percent of time to already just you ho. Transfer air, jump pad activation start. Reprisal. That's a pretty austere image. Oh god, oh god. Okay, well, that was to be expected. Um, hey, I've been Alfred, that's been Marathon. Uh, wow, that mission has a fucking overture at the beginning. Uh, Jesus. Uh, anyway, yeah, um, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for, uh, this extra weird episode of Marathon. And, uh, yeah, I've been Alfred. See you guys next time. Bye.